Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put together a short video investigating and fixing a common issue on this 2013 Vauxhall Corsa. It's the 1.2 A12 XER engine. Now, I've seen this fault in the Vauxhall Adam as well, and some of the other Vauxhalls, but it's pretty much common to anything with this engine in it. So now the issue that we've got, basically the engine warning lights on, but it's not on all the time. It's quite intermittent. Sometimes it might not be on for a week. It might only come on for half an hour and go off. Sometimes it's on for two or three days at a time. Now, I've done a full scan with the top down diagnostic machine. Uh, shame today while I'm doing the video, the fault's not actually in there, but the fault code that we're looking at is P0171. And I re quite regularly, while well, the fault's been on the dash, the light's been on, I've scanned it, the fault code is in there, but it's not actually been on for two, three days now. And it seems to have self cleared. So, um, But this is what we're looking into P0171. So just get under the bonnet now to show you what we found the fault to be, just how you can check it and how to replace it. Now I've just got under the bonnet, we've just been using the Smoke Pro Smoke Tester, really handy bit of kit for checking for air leaks. If you want to check one of these out, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Now this fault code is really common in these Vauxhalls. It's not to say it's definitely this as well, um, but it can it can be quite a misleading code. It can point you down the line of the airflow meter or the Lambda sensors. Um, but the fault that we've got, basically we used a smoke tester to do an air leak test on it. Um, couldn't find no external leaks, but it was showing a leak on the actual tester. It wasn't dropping down, so it was showing a leak. And we've actually found the fault to be the purge valve, which is just this little valve, just located at the back there. And all it does is just got a little two pin connector on it, a pipe in at the back, pipe in at the front. I'll just show you one quickly. Basically, all it is is that, and it should, when at the minute, while it's not connected, or when the connector's on, there's no power to it, it should be in the closed position. Um, but what's happened is there's a little diaphragm inside it, which leaks, and it can actually, air will flow through it all the time. And if you want to check one of these out, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get one from. They're quite a cheap bit of kit, really easy fix, really easy to replace. Um, but the quick way that you can test them is just simply blow through it. You shouldn't, you can just say you've got an arrow there to show the direction that um, it should go but you shouldn't be able to blow through it while, it, while the um, piece is off and in your hand. But all I'll do now is I'll just get it off, I'll just show you, just putting the smoke machine on it, just so you can just test it and just show you that it's not actually working. So, All we need to do to get it off is just simply flick the connector tab off there. It's just a case of pulling up the little tab there, flicking it off. And then the two pipes just simply pull off. So just pull them off now and then we'll just show you testing it quickly. Right, so that's the purge valve off. Really simple to remove. It just pushes on this side. Um, but this side's actually got like a clip connector. Basically just this style connector. All you need to do is just push the little green tab in there and then you can release that. So, um, But just hook the smoke machine up now and just show you that it's definitely not working. Then we'll get on to just fitting the new one, clearing the fault code, giving it a good run. And just see, we've got the smoke coming out now. Basically, if we just bung that in there, you can see that's just pouring straight through it. Now you can test it as well. I'm not going to do it on the video because uh, I haven't got anything to hold everything together while I do it. But you could just put your power probe on there or just give it a feed just to power it up. And when you actually operate it, it should then switch it to open it. But obviously in this position at the minute, it should be closed. And you can just see that's just pouring straight through there. If I just get the new one. Hook the new one up. And just see it's nicely sealed up so what we're going to do now is just simply replace the unit quick clear the fault code we'll give it a good run for a few days and just let you know the outcome Right, 
right, so the valve's all fitted back on now. So really simple to fit. Didn't say, but it just slides on this little metal bracket at the back. On the old one, the rubber did stay on the bracket, so just had to pull that off quick. Obviously, the new one comes with a rubber built into it. Um, but just, yeah, obviously, just hook the two pipes back up, put the connector back on. So what I'm gonna do now is clear the fault codes. Because it was a bit intermittent, I'll give it a run for probably two, three days, and then we'll just let you know the outcome. Uh, so I've just ran it for four days now. We've done quite a few miles on it. The engine light's not come on at all. And um, we've done a full scan on it. It's all clear. There's no fault codes on there. Um, but as I said before, because it's an intermittent fault, um, it didn't always have the fault code in there. So, But whenever it was, it was P0171, which is a really common fault code on these. I've seen it loads of times. Um, but it can be quite misleading and sort of run you down the route of trying like Lambda sensors or the airflow meter. Um, but basically it's just down to this purge valve and I've just took it apart as well. Once you, I just cut the top off there. Um, but it's, so it's really simple check, just for the to, just for the simple fact of taking it off, you can just blow through it to check it, that's all. Um, but we're taking it off, this diaphragm just sits in there, sort of like that. And when I've pulled it out, just have a look and you can just see. It's actually split nearly all the way round there as well, so. And um, that's obviously what's happened, why it's failed. So, um, But yeah, I just thought I'd share the video. I hope it helps someone in the same situation. If it did, give it a quick comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.